hi guys welcome to my channel my name is Tolu if you're new to my channel I normally make videos regarding natural hair I would like to say that um, I hope nobody's ignorant as to what's going on around the world right now and I pray that everybody is safe and staying safe and helping the public to stay safe and I pray that those who are in hospital and those who are actually feeling symptoms of the current virus that's going around I pray that they receive their healing let's get into the video as you can tell by the title this video is regarding tools that will help you to manage your hair better. I understand that what takes most time when doing your hair is detangling and it can be very tedious and it can be very frustrating so if you have the right tools to help you it can make the process a bit faster and it will give your hair better results what are your go-to your staple um, hair tools that you would recommend to people if you have tools that um, that really work well for you and you think other people may benefit from it put it in the comment section below and we can check it out so um, these tools I believe are essential for um, any hair type any textured hair really um, so these will actually help you to manage your hair a bit more easily the very first um, tool that I would like to talk about or show you is um, scissors um, hair shears hair scissors to so, trim your hair dusting trimming whichever one you prefer um, yeah it's really good to have um, scissors handy my next favorite tool favorite is now please just ignore that noise because I actually don't know what it is and it's not even coming from this flat but it's so loud and it's so annoying and I believe you can hear it in the background just ignore it um, <clears throat> I haven't filmed in so long that I don't know this feels a bit strange it feels weird and I just got a new mic that um, I just connected to my camera and I just got a new light as well so I don't know I'm trying to you know improve and you know improve on my uh, video quality and audio quality so yeah investment is in order anyway i digress the next tool which is my current favorite tool is the felicia leatherwood brush and um this brush is actually quite amazing the bristles are i don't know how to describe it i'm lost for words right now but this brush is amazing it's very easy to grab even when when you've got conditioner in and you're brushing your hair it doesn't slip up very easily because of the way they actually I don't know if you can see that because of the way they did the the handle so if you can see that it's very easy to to grip and it, it moves with your hair I would say that it moves with your with the movement of your hair so it's very easy and it glides very easily through your hair if um, I can only have one tool with me when detangling and that one tool is what I have to use throughout it would be this brush right here this brush is amazing it's amazing and before I could even get one in the UK was quite challenging and I I can't remember I can't remember the website that I ordered it from but it took about three was it three weeks it took about three weeks to get to me if you if you have to order this if it's gonna take a month it's worth waiting for it's amazing the next tool that I would recommend you get um, is the tangle teaser the tangle teaser which one is this the wet detangler wet detangler from um tangle teaser i actually had this before i bought the felicia leatherwood brush and this brush is also good 
but the Felicia Leatherwood brush I believe is quicker the bristles on this I don't know what it is about this brush the bristles are really really soft I don't know if you can see that they're really soft and it glides and just moves so smoothly with your hair strands and it's got long strands and then it's got shorter ones as well so it'll catch everything but sometimes when I brush my hair I like to feel the bristles on my scalp especially when I get to the root and I really want to detangle everything from the root to the tip um, this one struggles a little bit however the Felicia Leatherwood brush can I can feel it on my scalp and I don't know there's something I don't know how they made that brush it's, it's amazing that's the second second brush this brush is also amazing that would be my second choice the next brush that I would recommend is the um, Denman brush it comes with one two three four five six seven well this particular one they have different ones this particular one comes with seven rows and I just alternated it I took I took out every other row um, cheaper than the other two brushes that I showed you and but it's it's a nice good all-round detangling brush you can also use in the shower the other two you can use in the shower if I have to choose one of these three I would definitely go for this one I'm not sure if you can see that it opens up and you can it, the water easily flows through your hair now on to combs everyone with textured hair coily hair curly hair you need a white tooth comb just for those days that your hair decides to be a little bit more stubborn than usual and needs a step an extra step before you go into like the brushes and stuff you may want to opt for one of these combs this one has um those round it's got the round bubbles at the end the round bubbles at the end I'm, I'm not sure if you can see the difference between both of them so this one has the round balls at the end that can get caught in your hair if you're not careful um, especially if you have like really kinky coily hair texture um, this one on the other hand very straight very smooth and goes slides glides smoothly through your hair and then we have this one um, I got this one because I don't know the way the teeth are spread out I thought would be a good idea to get it it's not very different from this one they work similarly to each other you can get any one of them if you're doing um, I don't know something like afro or you're doing a twist out or braid out and you just want to fluff your hair and just make it bigger and get some more volume um, great combs to go for this one's great if you have like if you already have like big hair big afro and you just want it bigger it's I mean goes through your hair very easily and you know just fluff out that puff very easily another one that you can go for is something like this something like this it's got like two layers so I thought this would be interesting to use but I still always most of the time go for this afro comb when you want to lay down those edges or you want to do like sleek um, styles and something that's just you know very laid and styled you I would prefer going for the ones that have the two side the two sided um, what do they call these brushes um, soft is a soft bristle brush so, yeah soft bristle brush um, this one side is quite soft and the other side is hard so when I'm doing like a sleek bun or like you know those sleek styles I normally go with the 
harder bristle first the harder bristles I, I normally go for this side first and then I go for the soft part just, just to smooth in it and um, for the edges I I mean there's a smaller one there's a smaller smaller version of it so this is the hard side and this is the softer side I use this or this so they're the same just different sizes and for my edges don't mind this edge brush guys my camera decided to stop recording um, however I was um, talking about the edge brush and I was saying that I really need to get another one so don't don't pay attention to the tip of this one and um, I would actually recommend um, Yaki Roots that's where I'm gonna get my next edge brush from um, supporting a sister and it's really nice by the way um, so yeah I'm gonna get another um, edge brush you know and then you can use this um, side to um, you know if you if you like the really I don't know swirly stylish edges and then the next tool that I would recommend is um, this rat tail comb this rat tail comb not for the purpose of this side but even though this side is also useful if you're laying if you're doing like a sleek bun or any sleek style this is also helpful before you go to the um, bristle brushes um, yeah but the rat tail comb mainly for this part for the rat tail part of the comb and that bit just really helps to part your hair and section it properly you know it just helps to give you the neat um, look um, on the other hand if you don't have a rat tail comb you can get one that's called Ilaru in my language Ilaru which is parting comb it's um, wooden and I think they make other materials I'm not sure don't call me on that and um, it works tools that anybody can use whether you're natural whether you're relaxed or you're texturized doesn't matter if you have long hair short hair medium length hair whatever t length of hair or um, type of hair you have you need clips um, if you're if you're sectioning your hair or you're parting your hair or you're styling you're detangling you're doing anything with your hair you need clips you need different types of clips um, big ones small clips doesn't matter you need clips to keep your sections separate or hair bands you need hair bands uh, some people don't like hair bands because they can easily snag especially if they have the metal um, the metal band around it then those are not those are like the worst kind of hair bands you can get you know the worst for your hair I think that brings us to the end of this video and if, I mean let's chat in the comment section below um, what tools do you normally um, use what are your go-to your staple um, hair tools that you would recommend to people if you have tools that um, that really work well for you and you think other people may benefit from it put it in the comment section below and we can check it out and if you have any questions you have any topic that you would um, like us to talk about to chat about also put them in the comment section below i would really really appreciate that thank you guys for watching make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you enjoy videos like this you you'd like me to make more content like this um subscribe to my channel just click the subscribe button and you know the bell right next to it click that bell as well it notifies you every time i upload a video and yeah See you guys in my next video. Bye.